when you're doing your quants in CPA kind of cases, the marker is to follow your calculations. If the marker can't follow your quants, they're not gonna give you a C. And it's not in their interest to dig into your formulas and try to figure out where the numbers come from. So for this reason, I suggest that you show support for your calculations as often as you can. You can do this in any way that you want. You can do this through A, B, C, step-by-step -step annotations, or through an Excel trick called formula text. If you choose to show support through A, B, C, or step-by-step -step labeling, don't put it in every single line. This is gonna take too much of your time. Instead, put the support for key items, like the subtotals, totals, and any cell that has hard-coded calculation. The other option is formula text. This is a nifty formula in Excel. You put formula text, point to any cell, and it shows the formula there. I find formula text works really well when you have NPV, IRR, or hard-coded calculations. For example, in here we have an NPV formula. Instead of writing out the formula next to the cell as support, put the formula text, point to that cell, and close the bracket. In this example, we have a cell with hard-coded calculation, 5500 plus 200 plus 3000. Instead of typing this out, we'll put formula text and it will show the calculation right away. The great thing about formula text is that you can copy it to any other cell and it will automatically update it to show the formula. For example, in here we copy formula text from one cell to another and it automatically updates to show the new formula. And yes, formula text works in the Surpass exam software. Students often ask me whether they should put note 1, note 2, and so on on the bottom of the quants. You can do it, but I personally don't like it. I find it's too time consuming and I prefer to keep my calculations within the main analysis. I would do separate notes only if they are significant calculations that need a lot of room. A good example is CCA. For CCA, I would do a separate analysis and link to it from my schedule 1. Students also often ask me whether the markers can see the formulas. The answer is yes, they can. But as you just learned, it's not in their interest to dig into your calculations and try to figure out what number goes where. So your takeaway from this video is that your quants have to be easy to follow. The easier your quants are to follow, the more likely you're going to get a C. You can achieve this by having a neatly laid out quants, showing support through ABC, step-by-step -step labeling, formula text, or any combination of those. When you do show support, don't go all out and put it in every single line, only for the subtotals, totals, and any cells that require assumptions or hard-coded calculations. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.